Tomorrowland is a new live-action movie from Disney loosely based on their attractions of the same name. This hasn't been the first movie they've done like this. They did it with Pirates of the Caribbean, which is a huge franchise now. And they also did it with The Haunted House. You know, that movie starring Eddie Murphy. I've never seen it, but it looks like a very bad comedy. Tomorrowland, however, is sort of meant to be a sci-fi adventure. And this is directed by Brad Bird, who also did Iron Giant and The Incredibles. But he's also done some other live-action stuff, like Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, which I've heard good things about. This movie sort of focuses on two different stories, with George Clooney's story in the beginning, and then Britt Robertson's story for the rest of the movie. And like a lot of other people have said, for a movie called Tomorrowland, you don't see much of Tomorrowland. There is quite a bit of it in the beginning, and a little bit in the middle, and sort of at the end, but most of the movie is just trying to get there. You're just following Britt Robertson throughout this movie, and you're just like, when are we gonna get there? And by the time you do get there, it's kind of disappointing. You get this awesome sequence when she first touches the pen, showing off all the different things in Tomorrowland, and it looks like a place you would want to go. Unfortunately, the movie hardly ever goes there, which I wouldn't really mind if the movie wasn't so pretty. I know people like Jim have talked about how this movie is about extraordinary people and how we need to find those special people to make those, you know, next leaps and invention and whatnot. And I think it does hammer that into you in the movie, but I think it hammers in another message even worse. And that's the sort of environmental message of this movie about how the clock is ticking down and, you know, Earth's gonna die. Or not Earth, but humanity's gonna die. There's this point in the movie where Britt Robertson is in these different classes at her school and they're talking about all the doom and how humanity's pretty much failed and time has run out. And she asked the question, what are we doing to fix it? And I don't know about you, but I think some teachers would be a bit more prepared for that question. Granted, she did ask it in an English class. But still, I don't really think that's fair. And going back to what Jim was saying about this movie being about extraordinary people, it's not like other people aren't thinking about these things, and that it's only these smart and talented people thinking about it. I mean, this isn't the first time that an environmental message has been in a Disney movie. I mean, it's there with WALL-E, but I really like WALL-E. But in this, it's just so heavy-handed. Though there is one point where Hugh Laurie is giving a speech, and he says, we're facing world hunger and obesity, how do you figure that one out? I kind of giggled at that because that's kind of true. It's like we have obesity in America, but yet there's like starving people everywhere. There are some really fun sequences in this movie, but I don't think it's enough to save it from being just meh. I don't think it's a bad movie really, but it's probably the worst thing that Brad Bird's ever done. So to me, this was just really underwhelming. If Disney was counting on this to become another Pirates of the Caribbean, I don't think it's going to be. But who knows, maybe they'll try again anyway. Next time, let's have a movie based on Space Mountain. That'd be cool. I'm not sure what it would be. A mountain in space? Anyway, if you saw Tomorrowland, tell me what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'd like to give thanks to my patrons this month. Thank you so much for supporting me. It really helps out a lot. And if you'd like to support me, click the annotation for the Patreon link. And if you want more movie reviews, click the playlist. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.